Let's continue our discussion of variable section sweeps by covering section orientation control. To examine this topic, I'm going to use a very simple model again. So I have this part, it's got a sketch that is just an arc, and I've also got an additional datum plane that's located at an angle. To create the sweep, click on the command in the ribbon, and from the references tab, we need to select our trajectory. We can see the start is over on this end. I'm going to click on the pink arrow to change the start of it. And let's create our uh, sketch. And for this one, I'm just going to create a rectangle located at the center. And I'm not even going to change the dimensions. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and from the pop-up menu click the check mark to get out of here and so you can see our feature that is being created and the section is being created normal to the trajectory or perpendicular to the trajectory at every point along our spine along our origin curve and that's the default and so if you go to the references tab, you can see under section plane control that we have normal to trajectory. And I want to point out that these options for section plane control are avail available for both simple constant section sweeps as well as variable section sweeps. And there are two other options in here, normal to projection and constant normal direction. I use constant normal direction a lot, and I actually think they should change the name. I think that they should call it constant parallel direction because when you choose this, you're going to pick something for the direction reference, and the section is going to be parallel to whatever you select at every point along the length of the trajectory. I'm going to select my default datum plane called right, and now you can see that here we have Every section, if you go along each point on the trajectory, is parallel to the reference that I selected. Let me show you the dif difference again. Normal to trajectory, you can see at our start, our section is perpendicular to the trajectory, and it continues through here over to the end. Let me go to a front view. So again, there is normal to trajectory from the drop down list. Let's change back to constant normal direction. And here's my reference datum plane right. Again, every section along here is parallel to the reference that I selected. There is a third option available in here. This was added probably about a dozen years ago, and it's normal to projection. It's normal to the projection of your origin trajectory on some other surface, uh, some other planar surface. And so I'm going to select as my direction reference the datum plane DTM1. And here you can see the shape changes so that if you imagine taking this trajectory, and projecting it onto the datum plane called DTM1. Now the section at every point along here is being normal to the projection of the trajectory onto this surface. Again, I've never had a cause to use this option. I've always asked other users, hey, do you use normal to projection? What are your use cases for it? If you have a use case for normal to projection, please let me know in the comments section. But again, probably the one that I find the most useful in different situations is that constant normal direction to make the sections parallel to some other reference other than the trajectory, especially when you have a trajectory that is three-dimensional, that's changing uh, direction a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.